In this video, I'm going to give you very simple and easy to follow step-by-step -step process to short Bitcoin and any other cryptocurrency on Qcoin. I want to start you off with a little bit of motivation. Here are my profits for literally a few hours of shorting Bitcoin. I enter uh, a short last night before I went to bed and just um, earlier when I woke up, uh, I already um, saw like that I have $6,090 profits. I'm shorting like 2.34 Bitcoin, so it's like $140,000 position. So I'm expecting much higher profits than this one, but this is literally in a few hours. So shorting is very powerful and I'm glad that you wanna learn it. That's why you are watching this video. So make sure that you um, watch until the end, right? Um, watch carefully if you have to watch this video over and over again. It's very, very important to learn how to short so you will be able to make money when the market is going down. And by the way, Bitcoin is dumping even further right now, so my profits uh, are gonna be increasing as well. Now, let's go back to Qcoin. First of all, in order to short, you have to borrow the asset that you are going to short. So you can short either in margin trading on Qcoin in the margin account or in the future account. In this specific video, I'm going to show you how to do it in the margin account because that's where I am doing it. If you guys want me to let me uh, know in the comments, I can make you another video how to do it in the futures account, right? Let me know that it's going to be in another video. You can let me know in the comment if you need to know about the futures as well. Now, when you deposit uh, money on Qcoin, they always go in the, in the main account, right? So the first step is to transfer your money from your main account to your margin account. So you're gonna click either here transfer or right here transfer in the uh, assets overview. So let's click right here just to show how to transfer your money first and then we're gonna start looking at how to short. So first of all, you you, tra you want to transfer direction. You have to make sure that you are in the right direction from the main account to the margin account right here. Then you want to select the coin that you want to transfer. Very likely your crypto, your assets will gonna be in USD. If it's another coin, you will pick the coin right here. Then you will put here the amount that you want to transfer, whatever you will click confirm and now your money will be in the margin account. Once your money are in the margin account, uh, you are able to short. So you click right here, trading um, trade and then you go to margin trading. Um, now from here, it is very simple, right? This is, uh, let me give you a quick uh, overview of what, what you can see here. Uh, this is the order book, right? So you can see the people here who are buying below, right? And the people who are selling the buy orders and the sell orders, right? Here you can see the recent trades. Here is your chart, right? And below here is where you actually executed the trades, right? You have to make sure that you are in margin. Um, and then you are where, where that's where you buy, that's where you sell. Here you will be able to see your orders. Here are your assets. So I'm currently on a $37,000 account on Qcoin. I trade both on Qcoin and, and on Binance. On Binance, I have uh, more capital uh, to trade just so that I consider Binance a little bit more safer. But Qcoin is awesome exchange as well. It's uh, here for, for a long time, right? So it's safe uh, as well. So here you can see your assets. And uh, here you will be able to see your debt ratio. Um, and uh, that's that's a little bit of a quick overview uh, on the exchange. Now let me show you how to actually short. In order to short, as I already mentioned, you have to borrow the asset. So you're gonna use sell order, right? You have to make sure that this option is enabled out borrow option because without you enabling the borrowing option, you're not gonna be able to enter a short position. So you have to make sure that this option is enabled, right, how to borrow, and then this how to repay as well, but we're gonna talk about this in a moment. Now, how do you enter short? It's very simple. You, first of all, you have to know for how, what is the amount uh, that you want to enter short position. So let's say that you are watching Bitcoin dropping right now, by the way, let me just see, um, if this is already updated, Bitcoin is dropping a lot, so the profits uh, probably already um, updated. So 6,300, right? So we are making uh, money by uh, the the <laughs> seconds here, right? Uh, but anyway, I just want to give you, I mean, I'm showing you guys just to give you motivation what you can do by shorting, right? Because especially when you are able to identify the market is dropping and what's going on, you can make a lot of money by shorting, right? Um, so right here, First of all, you have to know for how much you are shorting because on Qcoin, you're not gonna be able to put here the dollar amount, right? You have to put the Bitcoin amount that you are shorting. On Binance, if you go on Binance, you will be able to, you can see, put you can put here the dollar amount. So if I want to short Bitcoin worth $1,000, 
right? I will just put here $1,000 and I will short on KuCoin. Unfortunately, at the moment of me recording this video, at least you cannot do that. Hopefully in the future they will change it so they will make things easier. But even if in this case right now, I'm still going to show you how to do it very easily, right? So you got to get your good old calculator right here. And what you have to do is a very simple calculation. If you want to short Bitcoin worth of $1,000, you will put $1,000 and you will divide by the current Bitcoin price, which you can see right here, which is dropping by the dollar and we're making tons of money while I'm recording this video. Uh, by the by the second i mean it's dropping and yeah so you put here the amount of money that you are um, that you want to short right your position size then you divide this by the current bitcoin price which is 58854 you hit uh, this and then you get the amount of bitcoin that you have to short so in this case it's 0 0.016 nine nine so this amount right here you will put it here in order to enter your short position right so in this case it's 0 0.01699 so this right here is your position now you have two options from here you have the option to enter a limit order or a market order right and now let me give you an, exp an explanation because the difference is important right what is a limit order what is a market order a limit order is when you want to enter at a specific price so let's say that for some reason you, you believe that Bitcoin will first go to $58,900 in that case. Uh, we, do, we, are, we are going nuts right now. In that case, you're going to use limit order. Actually, let me go. I, I Here I prepared you uh, some um, visuals. So this right here will show you uh, the example of entering Bitcoin at a limit order. So let's say that you are looking at, um, at this specific moment, the Bitcoin, right? So it already dropped. It dropped nicely right and then it dropped a little bit more and you are like okay i want to enter a short but no no no, i'm not gonna enter a short right now because this right here is a swing failure pattern right so this is a support here this is swing failure pattern so i believe that bitcoin will go up before it goes down right so i don't want to enter short at this specific at this current price that is at the moment uh, because I believe it's gonna go up so if I just wait a little bit right I will be able to make some more profits so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw my support and resistances right so I, I see that here there is a nice um, th this was a nice support then we lost it so it's gonna be a resistance if price goes there so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna place a limit order at this price right to short bitcoin here and if it goes there that's when i'm gonna enter my short so in this case right here you're gonna enter a limit order if that's the case uh, that you are uh, trading right so the, the price that you want to enter short is different than the current price so the current price in this case is 63,000. you want to enter at 66,314. so in this case you're gonna lose the limit order you're gonna put here the price uh 66 what is it uh, let me see let me just move this here 66 314 66 314 right you're gonna put here the amount of bitcoin that you want to short with in this case it's gonna be different amount so if you want to enter one thousand dollars short for this price you're gonna do the same the same thing you're gonna get the good old calculator and you're gonna be like okay i want to enter one thousand dollars bitcoin short when it reaches this price of 66,304 so you're gonna divide this by 66,314 and you're gonna get the amount of bitcoin that you have to short uh, so it's gonna be 0 0.0150 so you will put this right here 0 0.0150 you will hit sell and it's gonna give you order confirmation you will hit confirm and you're gonna see the order appear right here so basically when bitcoin goes to this price we're going to enter the short position and as let me just see what's going on with the profits if it's updated because we are dropping significantly right now we're probably close to 7000 yeah so by the time i finish this video guys we're gonna have some uh nice profits but let's go back to the to the example right so now you place your uh, stop limit order right here so let's see what happened you you keep waiting patiently right and then bam bitcoin goes to your price your order will be open right your short order will be open and then nice 
that move to the downside, right? So this is an example of when you're gonna use limit order. Let me now give you an example of, and this is how you use limit order, right? And you place it on the exchange and this order will be executed if and only Bitcoin reach to the current price that you place. So if the Bitcoin never reached to this price is 6,314, your order will ne never actually be executed, right? So it will stay here in the open orders forever, basically, right? And don't worry, you're not going to be charged fees for the um, trading, right? Because this order is not executed, but you will be charged fees for the interest because you borrow Bitcoin, you borrow, we borrow Bitcoin right here worth $1,000 in order to enter this short. So for this $1,000, uh, we're going to have interest, right? Uh, now, let me give you another example. When do you enter um, when do you enter with market order? Because you remember here, we have limit order and we have market order. Market order is an order that is going to be executed currently at the best price, right? So market order, if we place market order right now, we're going to sell to the first buyers, which are right here on, the, on this side right and when do you use market order you use market order so let's say that you are browsing the internet right and you suddenly see news everywhere right now the news are just being released that five of the most powerful countries are banning bitcoin now in this case what you know what's gonna happen right it's very obvious what's gonna happen the news are released right now so the more people see it the more market is gonna dump so the market is gonna start dumping right now are you gonna wait in this case and do analysis okay i'm not gonna enter short right here i'm first gonna wait bitcoin to go down to 69 thousand dollars and then i'm gonna enter the short no 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 you're not gonna do that because you see this news and you know that the market is gonna dump right now so you want to enter short right now at this very moment you don't wanna wait because you see amazing opportunity. So in this case, you're gonna use market order. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna do a quick calculation which, with the good old calculator. You're gonna do, okay, I wanna short Bitcoin for $1,000 right now. So let me see what's the current price. 58,850, it's dropping. Oops, 58,822, it's dropping fast. So let me enter my short position. And this is the amount of Bitcoin that you're gonna short, 0 0.017, 0 0.017. And let me show you now how market order is being executed. Market order, when we hit sell right here, the market order is not even going to appear right here because it's not even gonna be an open order. It's just gonna go in the order history right away, right? So if we, I hit this, just uh, look closely that it's not gonna appear right here, it's gonna go directly in the order history. Uh, why? Because that's how market order is being executed. Bam! Right here, you see, it's not going here in the open orders, but if we go in the order history, it will be shown right here. You see, this is the market order. Uh, th this is already the order that we executed, so we sold Bitcoin for this price, right? And now we are short uh, $1,000 worth of Bitcoin. Um, the, while you see the limit order is still in the open because this order will be executed only if the Bitcoin reach to the uh, given price. So that's how you open a short, right? So I already opened how to enter a short price, short trade. Now let me show you how to place your stop loss, right? So this limit order is still open, but we already enter a market order. So we already um, in a $1,000 worth of Bitcoin short at this price, 58,850. So we are a little bit losing money right now. The Bitcoin, the, the trade is going against us, right? So if you, if that's the case, you're gonna be like, okay, um, let me still place a stop loss because I'm not sure exactly what's gonna happen. So let me, actually, let's go back to this example, right? So you're gonna do your analysis and you're gonna be like, okay, uh, I probably gonna be right and I'm gonna make some money, but I still want to place a stop loss in, in order to be protected, right? Because what if that I the trade goes against me? I don't wanna get liquidated in my margin account, right? So I wanna place a stop loss. So you do your analysis and you are like, okay, if the Bitcoin goes down to 59,867, I wanna exit this trade. So how do you actually place a stop limit for this order? First of all, you go right here where it says stop limit and you place stop market order. Right, so you, you place stop market order, and then uh, here, you first of all, you always have to remember that you have to place stop market, not stop limit, right? So you place stop market, and then here you have to put the stop price. The stop price is the one that we just mentioned right now. This is the price that you want to exit this short trade, 59,844. 
59,844, right? Best market price, you don't have to touch anything right here. And here you just have to put the amount of dollars. So in this case, you can put here a thousand dollars right because that's how much your trade is worth and in reality it's gonna be a little bit more because you're gonna have a small loss on this trade right uh, but you can check this later on and, and repay additionally the debt that is left right uh, so that's what you do and then you place buy right and now let's see what's gonna happen when you place this order right it's not gonna appear in your open orders and you might be wondering okay boy but why it's not appearing here because on qcoin the stop orders are appearing right here where it says stop orders so you always have to make sure that after you place your stop loss right you go right here to check if your order is actually on the exchange right and don't mind these other orders i have some uh, trades open here so don't mind this uh, just focus on this one so we have a stop market buy this price right so we actually have the stop market order placed on the exchange so that's how you place a stop loss order for a short position it's always a buy order this is what is important to remember and you always have to put the price and the amount and then you click click buy and that's how you place your stop order right so we are done with step number two now let me show you how to exit the short trade right which is step number three so how you exit the short trade? First, you go to the stop orders, right? And you have to cancel your sh uh, your stop limit, your stop limit order, right? You cancel it from here. This is the first thing. Then you switch back to open orders. And now you just have to close your short trade. Now to close the short trade, you have two options. You have the option to close it with limit order, right? So let's say that you see, okay, we are dumping right now. Let me um, I, I will wait to close this short order at $59,000, uh, um, $59, right? Because we are dropping right now. So I'm just going to give it a wait. And if it goes there, that's where I'm going to close my short trade. So you have to put here the price and also you have to put the amount of Bitcoin that you shorted, right? How do you know that? You go to the other history and get the amount uh, from here, which is this one, 0 0.017. So we put here 0 0.017. So that's the amount of Bitcoin. So you hit buy and you will see this order appear right here. So now if the Bitcoin uh, goes down to 59,000, we're going to close this short, right? So this is how you close short with a limit order. Now, let's say that this is the other scenario, right? Where you are like, okay, Bitcoin is not going to go to that price. So let me cancel this order and I want to close this short right now. So what you're going to do is you're going to use a market order in this in this case, right? So you're actually going to use a market order and then you're going to put here, okay, I want to buy Bitcoin worth of $1,000 because that's how much I enter short position. Let me buy this, right? In order to close this short because I want to close it right now. I don't want to wait. It's going up, right? So you hit buy right and now that's how you close a short position the last thing that you gotta do is to repay your debt even if you don't repay it right but if you just enable this option right here on qcoin it is like how to repay so the system will check the balance in your margin account every 30 minutes if your balance is enough the system will use it to repay your debt so Q what qcoin is saying to you here is that okay if um in 30 minutes, we're going to check. And then if you have uh, you have available Bitcoin to repay your debt, right? We're just going to use it to repay your debt. You don't have to do anything. But if you want to repay it right now, manually, you're going to click right here, repay. You're going to go to repay Bitcoin because that's what you want to repay. You want to hit right here, O, oh, confirm and success. We just, uh, yeah, we, we repay uh, the debt. Right, so that's how you're gonna close it. And by the way, let's just cancel this order because you see the limit order is still staying here and it is gonna stay the limit order from earlier uh, for as long as um, you keep it until the Bitcoin reaches this price. So we cancel this order and uh, that's it. That's how you short Bitcoin. Uh, that's how you short any other coin, right? So it's the same process. You use your calculator. So let me just uh, quickly give you an example with, with Ethereum. Uh, how you're gonna do it. We're not gonna go through the whole process just to give you um, example real quick. So Ethereum, uh, Ethereum USDT. So here is Ethereum USDT. When you want to calculate how much you're gonna enter Ethereum short, right? You're gonna do the same thing. Let's say you wanna enter Ethereum worth, uh, short, uh, short Ethereum worth $1,000. You will put $1,000 in the good old calculator. You divide this 4,119 uh 18 
and then this is the amount of Ethereum that you're gonna short 0 0.2428, 0 0.2428. So you put here, and if you wanna enter Ethereum short market order, right? So you believe it's gonna dump right now. This is how you're gonna do it, market order, and then sell Ethereum. So that's how you're gonna short the Ethereum. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it guys, that's it. That's how to enter short, how to place the stop loss, how to exit short, and how to repay the debt. That's what we covered. If you wanna learn, by the way, the uh, more the way that I am trading, if you need mentor, right, you can go ahead and register for my free web class that I have. There is a link in the description of this video and there is a link in the pinned comment. In this free web class, I'm gonna introduce you to exactly the way that I trade. My trading is very easy and simple. I'm just trading from my smartphone, right? Um, I don't even use the, the desktop versions of this. They bought Binance and Qcoin that have apps. They have apps for smartphone and I'm using these apps. So if you wanna learn more about the way that I am trading, right? And you wanna learn more about my mentoring program and how you can join it, go ahead and register for this free web class. There is a link in the description of this video and there is a link in the pinned comment. Uh, and I'll see you on the other side. That's it from me, boy, be checking out.